What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create lighting circuits with wire. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to add the electrical equipment for the distribution systems in our plan. Although the connections between this type of equipment are not typically shown on plans, you need to create a logical connections to define the topology. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So we are going to create a logical connection between the elements. Okay, so you will become familiar also with the wiring settings. And then we are going to create lighting circuitry and add wiring as the circuits are created. Okay, so adding wiring to our project is uh, optional. Okay, so you can do this project without adding a wire. Okay, so again, if you want to avail the exercise files that I'm using, you can go check out the link of this video. Or you can also use your project, your own project. Okay, so currently I am on level 2 plan, so I'm going to zoom into this area. So this is where I'm going to place the equipment that I will be using. Okay, so to do that from the systems tab, so I'm going to select electrical equipment. So here's the electrical equipment. Okay, and then from the type selector, I'm going to select here 208 volt amps MCB or main circuit board lighting and appliance panel board surface. So this is a surface hosted family. So I'm going to select 100 amps. Just, just click that one. And then make sure the placement here is set to vertical face. Okay. So we're going to place it here on this wall. So I'm going to click to place. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select modify. Okay, so let me select this family or this equipment. And then as you can see here, the distribution system here is set to 120 to 108 Y. And then you can also check here the properties. So let's say, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the maximum number of single pole breakers. So instead of 12, I'm going to make that 20. Okay, and then also I want to include here the panel name. Okay, so I'm going to type here PP for power panel. And then I'm going to type the number. So enter. Okay, so that's the panel name of that MCB. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is same procedure. So I'm going to select uh, electrical equipment, but this time I'm going to select 480 volts MCB lighting and appliance panel board surface. Uh, let's say I'm going to select here 100 amps as well. So just click that. And then I'm going to place it here. Again, make sure vertical face is selected. So let's place it here. And then modify. Okay, so if I select this one, so this one has a different distribution board. So that's 480277Y. Okay, and then for the maximum number of uh, pole breakers, I'm going to make that 20. And then for the panel name, this is for my lighting panel, so I'm going to type LP-2B. Okay, so that's the name of that panel, lighting panel. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to add a circuit with wire. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to do it here on 2 to 1. Okay, so I'm going to add a circuit with... Uh, wire. So I'm going to change my view to lighting plan because currently this is a power plan. Okay, so I'm going to change that. So from the project browser, so let's look for the power design. Uh, I mean uh, lighting level 2 lighting plan. So just double click that and then I'll be doing it here. Okay, now I'm going to select all the fixtures and switches in this area here. So I'm going to use a window selection like that. 
Okay, so if you're having a trouble selecting all the elements here, so make sure you disable the link, underlay elements, pin elements, and select elements by face. So just disable it. So mine is disabled. So I can easily make a window selection like that. Select all the elements within that space. And then I want to filter that. So I'm going to select filter. And then I'm going to select here check none. I only want to select the lighting devices. Hang on. I don't have the lighting devices selected. So I'm going to cancel this. So I'm going to use again window selection. Okay. Like that. And then filter. Check none. I only want the lighting devices and lighting fixtures. Okay. Then I'll select here OK. Okay. So it's now selected. So after that, I'm going to create now a system. Okay. So select uh, power to create a power circuit. Let's click that one. Okay. And then after that, we need to select the panel where we want to assign this uh, lighting device and lighting fixtures. Okay. So you see you have here uh, red dotted lines. So this shows the created circuit, which is the logical connection between the elements. Okay, so I'm going to select the panel here, select panel, and then I want to select my lighting panel here. So I'm going to assign these elements to this panel. So let's click that to add to the circuit. And there you go. Okay, so as you can see, this red sketch graphics shows the logical circuit with the home run you see that arrow so that is called a home run pointing towards the selected panel here okay so now what we are going to do is we're going to convert these wirings here into a into an actual wire so that's why if you look here so there's a convert to wire so you can select arc wire now if you accidentally deselect the circuit that you just created. For example, you selected modify and then you want to create the wiring. So no problem. So all you have to do is to hover your pointer to one of the lighting fixture or lighting device that is part of the system. Just hover, don't click. Like that, you hover and then after that, you press tab. As you can see, it will highlight the circuit. So after that, you click. So once you select it, so there's now your arc wire. So convert to wire, arc wire. So just click that. And there you go. So it's now created. As you can see, the home run is pointing. going to select here, uh, modify. Okay. And then after that, you can still modify your wire. So you can click that and then you can just adjust something like that. Okay. So you can also click your wire. Then you can adjust that one. You can adjust that one. So make sure you're only moving that hollow circle. Okay, so you can modify it. Okay, just to tidy up. So I'll select this one. Maybe I'll drag that somewhere here. This one here. This one somewhere here. Okay, about this one, drag here, drag here, and here. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do, I want to add a switch. So I'm going to escape to deselect the circuit. So now I want to add a switch. To add a switch from the systems tab, electrical. Uh, devices here so this time we're going to select lighting so let's select that one so what we want to do let's go to properties and then make sure that three-way lighting switch is selected so let's click this and after that I'm going to place it uh, somewhere here like that and then I will select here modify to terminate the tool okay and this device here, I'm going to change this. This one is a single pole. I want to change that to a three-way switch. Click that. There you go. So it's now change. 
okay and then after that i'm going to select this uh three-way switch that we have placed so i want this to be added to the circuit to the circuit of this one here the circuit that we created here i want this to be added that switch so to add this just right click that node you see that right click that uh, point and then you can see here add the circuit so that's it simple as that so you just added that one okay so let's try again it looks looks like it didn't add so let's click this right click and then add the circuit hit it add All right, it's not adding up add the circuit something wrong with this one so right click add the circuit no so it's not adding so let me just replace again so i'm gonna delete that uh lighting three-way switch okay and then let's click this right click add the circuit and then after that i'm going to select this one here okay or any elements that is not part of the circuit so that's my mistake there so i need to select the elements where i want this to be added okay so let me repeat so let's click right click add the circuit and then select the element where you want this switch to be added so let's click there you go so it's now added okay so we just need to convert that to an arc wire so that's why i'm going to select here arc wire let's click that there you go so again you can modify that just to tidy up your wiring and modify okay so if you're going to hover your pointer to one of the element that is part of the circuit you can hover your pointer and then you can press tab once in and it will highlight the elements or the circuit or electrical network and then you can click so you can see here the panel where it is assigned okay all right so next what i'm gonna do is i want to select all of these elements again let's select window selection okay and then after that uh, filter i'm going to select check none i only want to select the wires so let's select the wires and then okay okay so i have three uh, tick marks for each wires so what i'm gonna do while all the wires are selected so i'm gonna change here the hot conductor so instead of one i'm going to make it two so the total tick mark will be four so as you can see i have three three here so one for hot one for neutral one for ground so that's why i have three tick marks so if i change here the hot conductors to two and then i apply so as you can see it now becomes four okay so that's how you update your uh, tick marks or actually you can also click that and then you see there's a plus sign here and then you also have minus sign here okay right so that's it for this uh, simple exercise on our next video i'm going to show you how to create circuits without showing the wire so thank you for watching have a nice day